all you mega nuts. This is Sal the KJ Man, and this is Valhalla and the Lord of Infinity. This is a really good little RPG game. Uh, the object of the game is basically to solve the uh, uh, basically uh, solve the uh, to solve is a bad word, but solve the curse of the uh, of Valhalla and bring back the kingdom to its previous glory, um, which means defeating the Lord of Infinity, who is a kind of a bad dude. Um, so it, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It, it's a, it's a it's a puzzle solver adventure. Um, you're gonna find a lot of you know you're using a lot of keys and maps and finding things. You gotta find hidden things around so on and so forth. He's gonna tell the story now. I am the Prince of Valhalla. I have a sad story to tell. This castle was my home. I lived here with my family. We ruled over the land. My father was a fair king. We never knew of fear or sadness. And then one day, the sky fell. My father had a younger brother. His name was the Lord of Infinity. It was him that caused the war through his desire to be king. We fought for three long years. Thousands died, thousands. My father was the last to fall. Infinity took the throne. And Valhalla was no more. It was said the sky grew black, and sunlight turned to darkness. I escaped certain death, and was taken into exile. Today I come of age. I am ready to return. We must travel to Valhalla, so I can face my destiny, and destroy my father's murderer, in the name of justice. In the name of Valhalla. All right, there we go. So we're not going to enter a level code, although you can enter a level code and then a uh, and then a password that you uh, get uh, for certain areas. So when you've defeated certain areas, you can put in something and then go back to that area again later on um, if you haven't saved the game. So uh, can I move on there? <laughs> It starts in the crypt. Uh, the crypt is a very uh, interesting little area here. Uh, it's uh, pretty creepy, actually. This game has a very definitely has a creepy style to it. Um, I, I would have to say it is uh, one of the uh, stranger of the um, of the games out there, but it is uh, definitely got. Uh, style to it. Um, uh, as you'll see from your interface here, um, here I'm going to start the game. Um, you're going to, um, y you'll find that you can move, you can see you can move in increments, you know, uh, just kind of in, in, in individual square blocks. Just you, All you have to do is tap the joystick. and uh, Or you can just keep moving. And you press the button and then you get the control panel down below. I'm going to choose to take that key. I got it. Okay. And then um, I can choose the use button, and uh, you can see that little little crack in the uh, floor there. Incredible. Yep. There we go. And then now I can grab that. I got it. Now, a lot of times you don't need to keep everything with you. That, that you know, you, once you've seen something, if you as long as you remember it, you can put it down again if you want, or put it in a place where you can come back and get it if you ever need it again. So, uh, let me see. Move right along here. There's a book here. I got it. Okay, now we can go up and we can look at the. We'll look at the map first. And it shows uh, uh, one of the rooms uh, that is just down the hall, and uh, it, it basically is showing where all the uh, soft spots in the floor are at. Although you really don't need that map because you can see the cracks in the floors anyway, so you want to stay away from those. Um, and, uh, incredible. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> he says that a lot, at least in the first area he does. We're gonna go ahead and drop that. Okay, now what? And dropping or picking up is the same command on the bottom. You can uh, select the open hand, and that either drops or grabs something. Um, and then uh, we have a book here, and we're going to look at the book. 
And from his black heart, he summoned the guardian and her offspring, etc., 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 etc. Basically something to creep you out a little bit. Although the floors crumbled all around, which is a kind of a warning to you to let you know that there are spots in the floors that will cave underneath you. If you And there, there are even spots that you can't see that may cave underneath you if you have too much heavy stuff in your pockets, if your inventory is too full of gold and stuff. I'm scared. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop the book now. Okay, now what? Because we just don't need to hang on to it. And uh, I'm going to move right along here. Okay, we've got a gold key. Now... Now, we can pick up that gold coin, but we'll come back for it a little later. Um, now, now, the key, as you'll see... It doesn't fit. Yep. So we'll have to take it to another spot where it does fit. It kind of moved down here a little bit. And, uh, that key fits a door door over yonder here. And kind of moving right along here, and this I believe is the key that, that is the door that that key fits. Yep. I'm scared. There we go. There's another key, so we'll pick that up. I got it. Okay, so now, now, now the chests you can open with smaller keys, and you'll find those in other spots. We're gonna kind of go over here, and should be able to find some places. I remember some of this, but not all of it. This is a really long game. This is one game that I will tell you uh, will take you some time to defeat. Um, that's why it has a great game save feature. And, um... I'm scared. Yeah. Uh, one thing I need to tell you is that, um... Uh, even if you... Even if you finish the game... And come back and play it again... You're still... The replay value is still there because the game is... It has so much stuff in it... That you'll have a hard time remembering all of it. And you will have to, uh... Really... Um think about it and try to remember. I mean, unless you've got a, just a, an amazing photographic memory, this is going to be a tough one to remember stuff. Okay, there's nothing else in here uh, for right now. These are all the uh, stones, the worship stones. Um, or the altars. Kind of move right along here. Yeah, the uh, uh, the the game is is definitely very detailed, and it was well it was well thought out. Whoever the, the whatever team did this did a great job. Uh, this is a fun one. Uh, it it, um, it just it, it's one of those games that you just have to put some time into. Oh, look, another key. I got it. Keys are always good. You never know what they fit, but they're always good. I can't do that. Oh, oh wrong command. I'm scared. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of a skull here. It's a skull. Do you love me? Um, no. <laughs> Never did throne. Oh, his father's throne. Okay. So this must be this must be a throne room here. Oh, and there's another break in the floor. Uh, and as you can see, we'll incredible. But uh, you know, just uh, you know, just there's your idea for the game. I mean, this is this is a really it's a low key game, but it's a good RPG. It's got a good story, graphics nice, uh, playability is good. Um, it doesn't have really any music to speak of, but it does have great sound effects. And um, 
uh, the ambient sounds kind of give you the feel for the game as you can hear the wind blowing and things like that. And in other areas, you'll hear different things. So it's, it's pretty it's pretty interesting. It's got a good replay value because it is hard to remember everything. Um, so my opinion of this game is that it is a it is a fun game. It is about a 4.5 star game, four and a half stars. Um, definitely worth a look, especially if you're an RPGer. If you're a Zelda RPGer or a uh, or a uh, or even a Resident Evil style. Uh, player, because Resident Evil, I know, is a lot of action, but there's a lot of puzzles in it, too, like finding keys, shifting things around so that they do certain things to open doors. This game's got a lot of that in it, so it, you would definitely enjoy it. So, uh, give it a shot. It's worth it. It's worth the time and effort. Um, that pretty much wraps this one up, guys. This was uh, Sal, and I'm the KJ Man, and this is the Retro Reviews, and uh, this was Valhalla and the Lord of Infinity. So, uh, you guys uh, enjoy. I, ho I hope you have a good time playing it and keep gaming.